The last time we saw the Reyes Zelaya family, they were sleeping on the street in South Mexico. After a week with the caravan of Central Americans, Maria was sick, Alvin was struggling to walk, and Early was exhausted. She was eight months pregnant. Now, everything's changed. For one, Alvin Jr's arrived. He's 15 days old and has given the family fresh hope. We were frightened we would lose him on the way, but God didn't want that, and we have him safe and sound. My whole body was hurting, but when my son arrived, I felt like something passed through me and took the pain away. They've also now got to Tijuana, at the border with the US, and a church has taken them in. For the first time in more than a month, they have regular meals, a place to wash their clothes, and a roof over their heads. They're lucky. Most of the caravan are getting ready to spend the night in the open air in a makeshift camp that's become so crowded that some people are having to sleep outside its walls. But the Reyes allies have had trials of their own in the 4,000 kilometers they've covered to get here. Weeks of sleeping rough in particular affected the children. My eldest boy almost died of pneumonia. They put him in the hospital and put tubes in him because he couldn't breathe properly. It almost broke my heart seeing him like that. Now they're dreaming of getting to the other side, relying on the goodwill of a president who's determined to keep the caravan out. We want an opportunity, and the US is a land of opportunity. We want President Trump and his government to give us a hand to think positively, not negatively. In reality, there's next to no chance they'll get in. They're fleeing poverty, and as economic migrants won't qualify for US asylum. Their plan B is Mexico. Having a baby here has given them a chance at citizenship. But those decisions can wait. For now, they're just happy to be sleeping in a bed. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Tijuana.